Hi guys! Today we're working on butterfly tips. I'm going to adhere my butterfly tips that I made the other day. I've been falling in love with them ever since I saw them. And I really wanted to get them on. So I've prepped my nails, taken off all my other nails and um, cleaned everything up. Then I dehydrated, primered, and uh, I'm just applying the tips like I, I would a normal tip. I'm going on to the tip itself. Roughing it up a little bit. Look, this bit of mine has had the best yet. And I'm going in with my nail resin. Putting that on, and then I'm just placing it on like I would a normal tip, making sure it's straight and on. Letting the resin dry and make sure those corners are in there good. Oh, those are so pretty. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put these all on, and I'll be right back. Hi, I'm here. Sorry, uh, something happened to my camera there, and it died, so I think I might have lost my last video there of showing me putting on all the acrylic. So, <clears throat> I'll just do the last one here. So I had added some pink by the, I'm not too sure how much of the video I'll be able to save. But I added um, this um, very sheer mauve that I made near the cuticle. And I'm just encapsulating the rest to give it structure and to give it height and I usually like, um, I don't know if um, my video worked or not, so I'll just let you know that normally I like to um, build my nail out of mostly clear because it gives more structure and strength. The colors never have strength, not the amount of strength you need anyway for a nail. So I like to build my apex and everything out of the clear. Clean my brush often. Then at the end when I'm done, I'm almost out of liquid here, let me see. I'll just do a double check to make sure I don't have any duckbill effect or Make sure I got the right structure. Make sure I've got enough at my edge. Still trying to perfect that. And I'll double check. Oh, this one's got a little bit duck bill effect. So I make sure. I got enough product on there so I'll be able to file. Uh, those look really good. Okay. Clean my brush really, really well. I like this new brush that I got, so I would like to keep it good. So I'm going to go ahead and let that dry. And I'm going to go ahead and file and buff, and we'll meet back here. Okay, all filed. Just going to clean up here with some. 
acetone. Oh, so pretty. It looks pretty good. Okay, now it's top coat time. So I'll go ahead and top coat. I'm not going to add any stones today. Stones are great, sometimes over, overdone though. Sometimes the nail should just speak for itself. Bleep, I'm bleeping, bleeping everywhere. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cure that. I'm also gonna do the underside just because it's it's got um, it's got like a very sheer look. So doing the underside will just clean everything up. Um, I will I will do that. And I will meet you back here. Okay, just putting some cuticle oil on. We're all top coated, top coated the bottom as well. So I'm just gonna let this soak in a little bit, rub it in, and um, I'll meet you back here for reveal shots. Okay, and there we go. These are our butterfly tips. They're very, very beautiful. Don't need much. I could have added stones and I have some butterfly gems, but I think I like them just the way they are. See you soon. Bye.